What's up, sir? How you doing? Pretty good. I'm Mike Perry. You're Mike Perry? Yes, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Yes, sir. Let's roll. How was your flight? It wasn't bad. Yeah? Yeah, it was great for me. I, uh, I joined the club. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so I was telling her I spent years getting ready to come to these fights. Like, I would, I would bring the nicest clothes and I would make sure I dressed real nice on the airplane. And every time I got here, absolutely nothing was going down. I wasted my outfit. Ain't nobody have a camera on me. So now I just be like whatever. It works, that's Mike Perry. Like whatever, bro. Shall we take those facing back? I adoro lutar em Vegas. Então, a primeira vez que eu vim, eu queria muito conhecer, que eu ainda não tinha conhecido. E foi a luta onde eu disputei o título interino de, do Invicta e ganhei. E a segunda vez que eu vim foi na vez passada também, né? Que eu não pude aproveitar muito conhe, né, de conhecer os lugares, mas é, eu saí daqui com vitória. Hein? Então, pode esperar um show que vai ser igual a minha última luta, que eu consegui surpreender a galera, então espero para essa também conseguir surpreender, porque eu estou muito disposta a isso. So, what's going on out in New York? Is it cold? Yeah, uh, yeah this week it was cold. But like last week I was on the beach. It was like 75 degrees on the beach and then... Yeah, you have yeah. some tan. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, just flew in from New York, uh, pretty easy flight. Uh, after flying to Abu Dhabi, that was the easiest flight ever, so I was happy about that. My camp was pretty good. I mean, I just found out like three weeks ago that I was fighting. Can you care for water? Um, I'm okay right now. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, thank okay. you. I just fought four or five weeks ago and, you know, I had no injuries, so I was ready to go. And some of my teammates are fighting in December, so I was in there sparring with them, so figured if I'm sparring, I might as well fight. I feel bad because most people, like right now with everything going on, are complaining and like not having to work and everything shut down, but actually it's been my busiest year. I'm two weeks shy of fighting five times in a year, so that's definitely pretty active and that's, well, that's what I like if I have no injuries and I'm ready to go. Like I train all the time, so it's amazing. I'm fighting uh, Cynthia Caveo. You know, I think on paper, it seems like a typical striker versus a uh, grappler, but you know, me and Cynthia always come game and we're, we're ready to go no matter where it is. And, you know, I just think that whether it's standing, striking on the fence or whatever, it's going to be an exciting fight. I am John. I'm yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. That's me. Yeah. You ever really focus on your opponent? I mean, if you can be the best Valentina Shevchenko whenever you get into the cage, you probably feel like you can beat anybody. You know, it's like cold vision of the fight. No emotions here, no nothing. And sometimes it's not about being the best or doing something better than someone. It's just doing this thing in the right time to make explosion to help me to win the fight. Put your luggage here, I'll watch it, go we'll get COVID tested, then we'll check in. Então, eu assim, tô visualizando de partir para cima, não deixar a Valentina confortável, né, para ela pensar muito no que ela vai fazer, porque ela é uma lutadora muito inteligente, então eu não quero deixar assim ela jogar na inteligência dela, eu não quero dar tempo para ela. Então, essa é a minha intenção, é isso que eu vim Durante a viagem pensando em chegar e fazer meu jogo sem dar espaço para ela. You know, uh, a lot of long-time champions kind of, they, you know, they say it gets difficult as, you know, all the pressure that's on you as a champion. You know, you do more media, you have a lot more attention on you. How does all that extra stuff uh, wear on you? 
growing up, I was not born in country where everything is easy. It's everything hard over there. And I was prepared all my life to be where I am right now. That's why it's my big motivation. Mm. To be where I am right now, I have to train and I have to work double to maintain my position. And it's priceless for me. And that's why it's my biggest motivation. I will not lose it never because I know what cost I had to pay to become UFC champion. How you doing, bro? How are you, brother? Doing good, nice man. Nice seeing you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Right, let me get everything set up for you guys. I have all your information and congratulations, guys. Thank you, brother. You know, thinking about the fight the whole time is like, it's no big deal anymore because I just so much more going on in my life is that, that I gotta deal with and take care of. None of these guys matter, man. It doesn't matter whether I, I had some beef with them in real life or not. You know, these guys know who the fight is. There's a bunch of guys calling me out. I'm the fight. So they wanna fight me and they're still out there calling my name, like Platinum Mike Perry and like I'm fighting life, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm trying to win for my family and y'all trying to fight me. Any teammates on this card that have any, uh, the same cornerman as you or anything like that? Nope. Nope. Nobody got my cornerman. Beautiful. They try and take me down or tear me down or knock me down in some type of way and I just ain't gonna let them. I'm gonna be finesse out here clean this weekend. Look who it is. How you doing, bro? I don't even recognize anybody. Good to see you, man. You look good. How are you? How you feeling? Latorious Paul right. Felder. Pretty good, considering. Yeah. Good. Are you the, are you our voice this weekend? No, I'm doing the contender series tonight. tonight? Oh, I'll wow. be watching you just as a fan. Good man, to see you, bro. Do. Good to see you too, much. Good luck, guys. Have fun out there, man. All do right. your thing, Thank bro. you, bro. You look good. Please keep Yeah, yeah, get these elbows, dog. Get these elbows, bro. Yeah. All right, we're good. Yeah, you can last too, man. <laughs> we got this shirt made up at the last minute. Uh, a dude on Instagram actually made this uh, just in honor of the kick and stuff like that, and I thought it was pretty dope. So I was like, why not throw it on the shirt? So I got my name right here, and then I got my group and uh, my team, Silas Foundation, right underneath, you know? Man, we've been looking for you, man. There go right there. What's up? What's up, fellas? No, 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 you good. I got, I got, I got, I got to get my workout on, man. Oh. I got a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's everything. That's everything. Thank you. Yes, sir. Don't forget your tablet, though. Oh, okay. Sanitizer. Yeah. Man, Tussie Rose is trash. Man, I'm God, sorry, hey, man. I, I'm saying it, bro. Fight me, at me, whatever you need to. <laughs> Tizzy Rose is trash, dude. I just have to put that out there for everybody. Oh, shoot, man. Let me ask you. Can we stop at the uh, grocery store real quick? Just real quick? Yes, sir. I'm sure glad I asked before. Shoot. Travis trying to teach me, man. He he don't want to be uh, making up my nutrition, you know, meal plans. You got to remember, regardless if you fight for another 10 years or another five years or another two years, you got to take care of that body for the rest of your life. Hey, coach, you trying to get some cookies? You trying to get some cookies? But he needs to be just a lot more conscious on what he's eating on a day-to-day -day basis so that these weight cuts are nothing. And plus, it, it destroys the training when you have an athlete who's not taking care of his body. So one of the best things that I get to deal with with Joaquin is he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't do anything crazy like that. So it's really just making sure his ass ain't going to Wendy's and stuff like that all the time, and I'm fine. Well, that's a cool guy named Joaquin Buffett. He had the, like, the craziest knockout. Oh, really? He on the planet. That's you. That's him, right there. <laughs> <laughs> 